Amanda Lester with Virtual Horse Help, and we're here with Lyle Levitt, who is the Dell Wilkinson Lifetime Achievement Award recipient. I can't get that one out. <laughs> Lyle, congratulations on that. Thank you, Amanda. Yeah, it's a great honor. So tell us a little bit about, and when did they tell you that you were getting this? Oh, gosh, you know, I, I guess I found out in September the NRHA called me, and I just couldn't believe it. I was in shock, and, and uh, uh, I, I just, just so honored, really. Uh, you know, uh, getting to be involved in reining is just one of the highlights of my life. And, uh, the, you know, the horses are wonderful, and the people that my horses have introduced me to are even more wonderful. And, and uh, you know, I, I look forward every time to be able to, to come to the show and to see all my friends. That is so wonderful. We love hearing that. Now tell us what all of you, you've been involved in reining for how long now? You know, the first first reining I went to was in 2001. It was the NRBC, uh, you know, close to home for me in the Houston area. And the winner of the 2001 NRBC was one Tom McCutcheon <laughs> on Smartest Chickalina. Hey, we know that name. That's right. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a, a really great show. And, and uh, I thought, well, this looks like a lot of fun. I want to learn more about it. And that, that's when I got involved. Now, who did you first go to to help you get involved in reining? You know, I worked with, with Carol Rose and, and uh, bought a couple of horses from her uh, that we, that we uh, trained as reiners and rain cow horses. So, um, so in their first year of competition, we, we ended up going to Snapple Bit Futurity. And, and then I came to, to the reining Futurity and, and just watched and, and uh, bought a bought a two-year-old in the sale and uh, and just thought, you know, we've got to do more of this rain. That is so wonderful. Congratulations on your win. And uh, let me know or let us know what what else do you have going on with the raining industry? What What's next for you? You know, I'm, I'm, I, al I always try to carve out uh, April so that I can, uh, from our touring schedule, so that I can go to the NRBC because it's, it's just one of my favorite shows because this, you know, springtime is, you can really feel that it's springtime and it's, and it's an outdoor show and, and, it's, and it's so close to home for me that I, that I really enjoy that one. So that's, that's my next show and that's my goal is to be in shape enough to be able to sit in the saddle and, and uh, make it through a pattern. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited, looking forward to it. Well, awesome. Hopefully we'll see you then. Uh, good luck. And what does your touring schedule look like? You know, uh, we, I still play 100, 110 dates a year, and uh, we'll be playing uh, touring the first part of next year in February and March, but then uh, leaving April open so I can, I can go to, to the show. Uh, and then, then we'll start working again probably in the uh, beginning of July and work through the summer. Now, we learned at NRBC that you were expecting twins at that point. When are they due? Uh, you know, our, our twins were born on June 12th. Uh, uh, of this year and uh, it's just been the most exciting thing that's ever I've ever experienced. It really has been wonderful. Congratulations thank on you, that. Amanda, thank you very much. Thank you for your time and have a it's safe trip back. Again. Thank great you. seeing you too. Many horses need support in four key areas. Joint, hoof, coat, and digestion. Smart Combo and Smart Combo Ultra provide support for young and middle-aged horses in light to heavy work. Smart Combo Senior and Smart Combo Senior Ultra are designed specifically for older horses to help them enjoy their golden years and keep them going strong. Smart Combo Ultimate provides an unparalleled level of support for anyone wanting to give their horse the very best. Visit smartpack.com slash smartcombo to get started.